Hey dude, it's dude the Builder here, and in this episode of Zigmaster, we're going to be taking a look at an, another uh, situation that we may have with pointers in Zig. We have just seen in the previous video the single item pointer, and now we're going to be taking a look at another type of single item pointer. It's actually, uh, it's still uh, technically a single item pointer. But the behavior and the syntax changes a bit uh, when we are dealing with a single item pointer to an array. Okay, so um, to demonstrate this, I'm creating here this var uh, named array it has three elements, and here uh, this uh, putter um, uh, constant is going to be uh, a pointer to that array. And in this um, debug print, we're going to be printing out the type of that pointer. And then um, we're going to be using the normal dereference syntax to access that first element of this array. So with the dot star, we are dereferencing the pointer, which will lead us to the array itself. And then we're using this indexing uh, or the subscript operator to access the first element, which would have index zero. And in this debug print, we're going to be using both of those syntaxes, um, the, the actual indexing into the array itself and the, the reference of the pointer and then uh, indexing to demonstrate how we can access that first element. And then we have here um, the actual special syntax that I mentioned that pointer when you have a pointer to an array you can uh, skip this uh, dereferencing with the dot star and go straight to the indexing operation okay so here it may look as if this pointer would be the array itself but it still is a pointer to an array it's just that the the, the zig language allows you to use directly this indexing syntax on the pointer for convenience okay so here we're going to be uh, accessing the second element, which would have index 1. And we will be setting it to 10 because uh, we, we declared the array as a var so we can mutate it. And in this debug print, we'll be using that uh, indexing uh, syntax on the pointer and on the array. So let's take a look at that. Let's do a zig build run. And as you can see, the type of pointer uh, is a pointer to an array of three U8s, okay? And here, using the, the referencing syntax to then index into the array, we obtain the value 9, and we obtain the same value uh, doing that indexing directly on the array itself, okay? But then we see that with the special syntax, we can do the indexing directly on that pointer uh, variable, or uh, the identifier, and we obtain exactly the same result uh, as if we do the indexing on the array itself. So that's a convenience uh, syntax that Zig provides us so we can work with uh, pointers to arrays basically as if we had uh, the array itself. Okay. What we're going to take a look at next, here we're defining a single item pointer. We're using here the address of. Uh, but in this in this case, we're taking the address of the first element of the array. Okay, so it's not a pointer to the array; it's a pointer to the first element. So it'll be just a normal single item pointer. And then we're going to use it, uh, the referencing here, to set it the value to ninety nine. Then we're going to see what's the type of that pointer, and then we are going to use the the referencing syntax. And here, uh, the indexing with our previous pointer uh, and directly on the array to compare uh, the values that we obtain. Okay, so let's save this. And if we run this, we're going to see that in effect, the, the item pointer is a pointer to a U8. It's not a pointer to the array, it's just a pointer to one of the elements, which are of type U8. And here we set the value to 99. So that's what we get with when we do reference that pointer. And that's exactly what we get when we use the indexing operation on our previous pointer to the array and, and the first index zero. 
and directly on the array uh, the index 0 is also 99 so we basically here are dealing with exactly the same value in memory okay next up with this code here what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, doing a debug print and this time we're going to be using this uh, format specifier here uh, using the asterisk in the case of our uh, taking the address of the array and in the case of our pointer that we had de uh, defined uh, previously we have to use this format specifier because if we don't um, then the, the, the print formatting will try to print the array itself uh, given it treats arrays and, and a pointer to an array sp in a special way. So well, this asterisk is telling uh, the, the print formatting system that we want to actually print the pointer itself in the case of the pointer to array and here the previous one that we had. In the case of the single item pointer we don't have to do that. We could do that also but we can just leave uh, the format specifier empty as we do here and it'll print the pointer itself okay so if we run this now we're gonna see that uh, in our first the uh, taking the address of the array we we have indeed uh, an array of three u8s at this address here in the case of our pointer that we defined previously uh, once again, we have that, that pointer type, it's pointing to uh, an array of three U8s at the exact, exact same address as we have here, okay? That's what we would expect. And in the case of our single item pointer, since we were, we were pointing to the first element of that array, uh, the type is U8, but the address is once again the exact same address, okay? The first element of an array will have the basically the address of the array itself so even though we have the, the the same address in these three instances we have uh that the type can be different in this case we're just pointing to a single u8 and these other two cases we're pointing to the array itself okay so that's an important little detail to keep aware of and finally what we're going to be uh, demonstrating here is that uh, a string literal in zig is it's actually going to produce a pointer to uh, an array in this case a sentinel terminated array and the sentinel is going to be zero which is also known as a null terminated uh, string in the world of c uh, when we have a string literal like we do here in zig that's what's going to be produced in the, the type of this variable here this const hello is going to be a pointer to uh, an array and this uh, may cause some confusion uh, for newcomers to zig because uh, we haven't talked about slices in detail but when we do talk about slices um, we're going to see that in many places uh, when you mention strings in zig you're going to see the definition that a string in zig is just a slice of bytes uh, but in this case, you have the situation that when you have a string literal, as we do here, um, that's not going to actually, uh, unless you specify that you want a slice of bytes, uh, the, the default type that's going to be uh, applied to this is not going to be a slice of bytes. It's going to be a pointer to a sentinel terminated array. Okay, so that, that's the cause of some confusion uh, to newcomers. But once you get the hang of it and you realize that, that that's what's going to happen, uh, you can see that it's, it's basically, it, it, it makes sense because this, we know at compile time when we have a string literal, we know the size of this, uh, of this string. So uh, we, we actually don't need uh, a slice. We can use an array because we know the size at compile time. And if we know the size at compile time, then we can have an array. And that's what's going to happen. So here, when we do this print, we're going to be printing out the type of hello. And then we're going to be indexing. First, we're going to be indexing uh, to the first element of hello. And we're going to be printing out. Here, we're using this uh, zero to indicate uh, in, in the format uh, specifier. We're, we're here using two format specifiers. The first one doesn't actually uh, explicitly use a specifier. And the second one uses the C for uh, ASCII character, 
But we only have one argument here, which is uh, the, the first byte of this hello. So uh, this zero, what it does is lets us have multiple specifiers that refer that reference the same argument over here in, in our, our tuple. OK, so the zero is telling us that we want to print here the first one and also here the first one, but with a different specifier. And we're going to be doing uh, pretty much the same here using the, the referencing syntax to demonstrate that we can uh, use this syntax also because it is a pointer to an array. Um, and here we're going to see that uh, in the case of, of strings, um, zig uses by default UTF-8 encoding. And as you can see here, this second uh, letter um, isn't a normal E, it's an E with a grave accent. And in UTF-8, uh, this character is encoded as two bytes, okay? It's not just one byte as, it, uh, as a normal E character in ASCII. So we're going to see here that when we index into uh, this second byte, uh, we're not going to be able to uh, process that as an ASCII character in this case. OK. And here I have this commented out because if we uh, uncomment this, we're going to get an error. Um, a string literal will produce a pointer to an array, but that array is going to be constant. So um, in this case, if we uncomment this, we would obtain an error. Let's do that. Let's write those changes. And if we try to compile, we're going to see that we cannot uh, assign to a constant. OK, um, let's change this back. Let's comment this out. Now let's save this and let's run this again. And now we're going to see here that indeed the type of uh, hello is a pointer to a const uh, a sentinel terminated array of six U8s. OK. And here we are printing out the first item of that array. Uh, the first time we print out that item, we are just printing out as a normal decimal number, which is 72. And if we convert that to ASCII, it's the capital H. Here we're using this other syntax, but we obtain the exact same result. It's the same first item, which is uh, uh, the decimal 72 and the capital H. But when we try to print out the second item, that would be the first byte of the UTF-8 uh, letter E with a grave accent. So that's why uh, we, we obtain, we can obtain here the numeric value, but we don't see anything printed out. Okay. So that first byte is going to be 195, but it's not an actual character because it's just the first byte of a multi-byte character. In this case, a UTF-8 encoded uh, letter E with grave accent. So you have to be aware of that um, when you're dealing with a string literal, treating it as an array, and you plan on doing some indexing operations, you could run into that type of situation. Um, UTF-8 encoded uh, a text, although it is a superset of ASCII, uh, you will uh, have characters that once you pass that ASCII boundary, uh, they will be multi-byte characters and you can't work at the byte level. You would then need to work at the code point level, at the Unicode uh, code point level. And uh, Zig, uh, the standard library, has a Unicode um, namespace that has functions to work with that. Okay, And that'll be all for this one. Um, I just wanted to uh, demonstrate that when you have a pointer to an array, you do have a special syntax for indexing that's available. And also this situation that we have with string literals, okay, that they produce a pointer to a sentinel terminated array. So I hope you find this useful. Do the builder here. I'll see you in the next one.